Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the AEW Dark Report for the 3rd of, or I'm sorry, the 4th of uh, May 2021. Uh, once again, they have a lot of good stuff. Uh, I actually thought Dark was better than NXT on this particular evening. However, um, they still have too many matches. They are not learning from this mistake and... Some of the matches are less than a minute. Why even put people in their gear for that? It's just, it, it, it screams we want everyone to have a fair chance. And sometimes, I'm sorry, but life in entertainment isn't fair. And some of the people on this show shouldn't have been there. Um, anyhow, so, but overall, good at stuff. Um, so, we, we run through... Uh, Powerhouse Hobbs and Ricky Starks with Hook defeating Rick Aldridge and Aaron Fry in 31 seconds. Uh, town business from Hobbs finishes him off and Starks doesn't even need to get in there, basically. Uh, Leah Hirsch defeats Diamante in two, just under two and three quarter minutes. Diamante is fine. Hirsch uh, attacks the mat and hits a stunner. Out of a Casador hits drop kick in the corner for near fall. Hirsch nails a parrot German suplexes and a knee strike. So too much offense for the length of the match, in my opinion. Uh, they exchange slaps. Hirsch uh, hits a cross arm breaker for a quick win. Uh, then we go to um, uh, Varsity Blondes defeating Liam Gray and Aiden Alanis. Um, Alanis and Gray jump Tillman Jr. and Garrison before the bell. Uh, they get some, su they get suplex for their troubles. Uh, Garrison hits a high bloop. Tillman Jr. comes in with a drop kick on, Al on Alanis, comes back with a sling blade. Alanis and Gray combine for backbreaker, neckbreaker combo. Tillman Jr. for near fall. Garrison gets a hot tag and hits a pair of clotheslines and suplex. For a near fall, Garrison hits the rolling elbow on Alanis, and Tillman Jr. comes in with the air Pillman clothesline, uh, and Garrison gets his pin. Uh, SCU against Spencer Slade and, J and Jake St. Patrick in just under four, and a, or just over four and a quarter minutes. Um... Basically, the SCU thing is dead. Uh, number one contenders match tomorrow night on Dynamite makes all of this not matter. And then, I don't know, it, who cares about the rankings at this point? Kazarian looks good. Uh, Daniels gets in trouble, as he almost always does in these matches. He gets into the heel corner uh, and almost breaks neck of an opponent, uh, or breaks his neck, rather, on a belly-to-back suplex from Slade. Uh, Meltzer, best Meltzer ever. Yeah, I hate the name. Not a fan of the move either, but SCU wins. No big surprise there. Big Swole defeats Megan Bain. I believe this is Bain's first match. Maybe not, but it has to be close to the beginning. Um, Bain's dressed like she's from Greece. Um... There's a uh, difficulty as Swole hits a through the ropes stunner on Bane. She runs the ropes, uh, a boot, and Swole finishes with a Texas Clover Leaf. Completely pointless match. Speaking of pointless, Joey Janela uh, and Sonny Kiss defeat Kit Sackett and Justin Law in 230. Again, I will say it and I'll say it every time. Um, Joey Janela, basically, eh, no, no, just no. I'd really appreciate it if he would scrub the toilets at the arena, but not wrestle. Anyway, uh, Janela hits a clothesline on Law, sends him to the floor, uh, and he hits his head on the floor in an ugly spot. Taz and Excalibur uh, laugh on commentary. Law gets out of the way and hits a slop drop. Split-legged combo for the win. I gotta grab my phone. We'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail with more of Dark. 
and to be honest, I don't imagine that I would ever see value in in uh, Joey Janela. I I've never seen anything to that effect. Um. Anyway, so we go to Kylan King and Julia and Julia Hart. Um, she makes her debut here this week. Uh, hits a flipping clothesline in the corner. Um. And then we see uh, the split-legged leg drop spot from her, which is disrespectful because it was in the previous match with Sonny Kiss. Maybe it was taped out of sequence. This match runs about 3.45. Uh, King counters a head scissors into uh, throwing her into the ropes, nailing her throat first, and finishing Heart with Kingdom Falls. Pac with Penta and Ray Phoenix defeats Serpentico with Luther in just under two and a quarter minutes. Not a match that needs to happen. Serpentico is a talent I enjoy. I don't like the gimmick. I have not liked the gimmick. And he's wasted in a tag team with Dr. Luther, who, I don't know, maybe a first leg hand of retirement plan would be a good idea. Anyway, um, Serpentico hits a drop kick and a dive, then gets nailed with a tilt a whirl backbreaker. Pac hits a snap suplex and follows up with a tombstone pile driver and a. Um, he finishes with the Brutalizer. Uh, Bunny defeats Leela Gray. Bunny cheats and gets um, screamed at for all of her issues. And, um, and, and then uh, Gray gets a near fall with a sunset flip. Bunny comes back with an inverted DDT. The acclaimed David Ali and Barry Morales. Barry Morales, another guy. I don't understand why he's here on a regular basis. I also don't understand why uh, basically we have to have all these really short matches, just two- and three-minute matches. What's the point? We get them on an internet show, and nobody remembers the matches next week anyway. Anyway, Max Caster tries uh, to, to get his opponents to applaud themselves, and I'm going to grab my phone again, so we will be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. To be fair, Bowens and Caster are both individuals who, for the most part, are pretty assertive, aggressive in their nature of kind of, um, you know, um, moving forward as, as relative unknowns who are doing pretty well. Uh, obviously, um, Bowens is coming back from knee reconstruction. Uh, anyway. The acclaimed and the the acclaimed fame finisher finishes off Morales. Um, you know the match is is unnecessary. The mic work is worth it. Anyway, Ethan Page, Scorpio Sky against the Hughes brothers, otherwise known as the um, individuals who are the parameters of. Uh, you know, parameters of uh, Hughes and and what's there. So I mean, it's it's an interesting it's an interesting run. It's not necessarily an interesting run that we really want to look at too terribly far, because um, I don't necessarily think that the Dudley twins are terribly intelligent. Um, choices for a look at a major push but certainly worth continuing to push at some level I wish I was actually seeing more of them on a more consistent basis but that obviously does not seem to be happening here um, for a number of reasons Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page however are without a doubt individuals that are worth looking at in a, at a deeper level um, and you know um, they broke him away they broke Sky away to give him a singles push, and that died really quickly. Ethan Page, I think, is a guy who could be in a main event, and nearly having him in a three-and-a-half-minute match on a throwaway show is kind of pointless to me. But anyway, crowded tag team division that doesn't need another team gets one. Anyway, uh, Page hits a knee breaker on Terrell. Sky locks in the heel hook and gets a submission victory. Dark Order. Evil Uno and Stu Grayson and Alex Reynolds defeats J.D. Drake, Nick Nemeth, and Cesar Bononi in a match that just 
seems like faction warfare. For the faction warfare's sake, this is the week's main event. Drake is enjoyable. Uh, Reynolds is good. Nemeth is good. The rest of them can can go jump in a lake full of independence for all I care. Um, Drake wrestles in, in jeans and a tank top, which isn't exactly the most professional looking, but it makes him stand out. Reynolds ducks clothesline, walks right into Benoni. Benoni is about as spicy as beefaroni, and it's here. Reynolds winds up with a face in peril. He eats a cannonball for Drake for a near fall. Reynolds then comes back with a moonsault and gets a tag to Grayson. Uh, Dark Order sets up the Fatality and Nemeth and uh, Avalon try to interfere. This is a complete waste of energy in any event. Uh, Reynolds runs him off and uh, Benoni and Grayson hit the Fatality on Nemeth for the pin. Nemeth should not have lost the fall. Uh, but I guess they changed uh, the order of matches because this was called a main event and it wasn't. Dante Martin defeats Danny Limelight in 923. People like Martin. I do not. Honestly, they're just young Buck Hardy, Edge and Christian, 20 years ago ripoffs in the sense of moves for the sake of moves. Limelight, on the other hand, ha does a lot of moves but has a level of charisma that's above his opponents. Uh, Limelight dominates, I'd say, at least half the match. Um... He, we see Martin hit a double moonsault. Limelight comes off with a pump kick and a pair of vertical suplexes and a neck breaker. Limelight uh, goes into a slingshot senton, finds Martin's knees instead. Uh, Martin goes for a 450 splash and then misses. And absolutely nobody cares because we do too many spots anyway. Limelight gets triangle choke, but has to break the hold. Martin counters it into a cradle. Limelight hits a clothesline. Martin hits a shotgun drop kick with uh, a bunch of spring from the bottom rope, juice box, and a 450 splash for the win. Uh, good match, um, but putting another match on after it's stupid, and also putting this against NXT probably. Maybe might not be a best idea. Limelight needs more push, and hopefully they give it to him at some point. Lance Archer defeats Luther with Serpentico in just after four minutes. Not sure why this gets the main event spot. Also, Jake Roberts sounding winded is frustrated. Um, Archer squashing a guy at this point doesn't matter. Serpentico doesn't really um, get lost here. Serpentico tries to jump in. On Archer, that doesn't go well for him. Interference goes even worse. Fuego del Sol um, runs out into the crowd and runs in. Serpentico gets pulled off. Archer gets Luther up for the blackout slam. Uh, then there's a ripcord side slam finish. And there's no reason for this to have ended the show. Overall, a good show, but unnecessary many matches anyway hopefully this has been enjoyable we'll be back with more wcw saturday night review and other stuff over 1200 audio is available for your listening pleasure till next time keep your feet on the ground your mind in the moment till next time everybody